The fusion manufacturing workspace saw significant advancements in 2024, with numerous new features and technology enhancements across all areas, including milling, turning, nesting, and additive. Let's recap the year with calling out our top five new features. It was challenging to select only five, but let's get started. Toolpath Modification Tools was updated with the addition of a new function called Leads and Links. This enables the adjustment of leads and links on a toolpath without requiring a complete recalculation. This not only significantly decreases programming time for toolpath adjustments, but also helps users resolve issues that might be challenging. The modification tools allow for updating either all leads and links or a manual selection of individual ones. Users have control over various elements like clearance geometry, clearance and retract heights, start and end positions, rapid links, transitions, and leads. A new toolpath called multi-axis finishing was added and is unique as it can utilize circle segment cutters to machine wall and floor geometries. Barrel, oval, taper, and lens tool geometries are all supported allowing you to capitalize on their ability to use large step overs to reduce cycle times but still maintain the high quality surface finish you desire. When machining floors, the toolpath uses a scallop strategy. In the case of machining walls, you have the choice of a blend or scallop to meet your needs. Options can be set to automatically tilt the tool during the multi-axis movements or be user-defined, which allows the user to specify a unique lead angle of the tool. A new standalone groove roughing strategy for external, internal, and face grooving operations was added. It incorporates all the elements that users loved in the old grooving toolpath, but with superior results by giving the user more toolpath control through simplified UI, improved boundary handling, and an improved set of tangential extensions. This gives you a safer and more efficient lead in and lead outs allowing for a better and more consistent toolpath. The option to define the entry point of the groove in relation to the center or the side of the groove minimizes tool deflection and control swarf. After creating an additive setup with an SLS or MJF printer, the new 3D Arrange True Shape algorithm can be utilized. This innovative voxel-based arrangement method considers the true shapes of all components rather than just their bounding boxes, which generally allows for more parts to be added to the empty volume of a printer. Additionally, this new filling type provides the option to consider different part orientations by rotating the part around its X, Y, or Z axis during the nesting process. This allows parts to be arranged in various orientations to fully utilize the build volume, substantially maximizing the parts you can print and ensuring the most efficient use of your build volume. The new automated arrange brought significant improvements to the arrange feature. Part and part arrangements are now available to improve material usage along with the option to create copies or move original components. Arrangement nodes are created in the browser tree and multiple manufacturing setups can be created directly from arrangements enhancing associativity between model, arrangements, setups, and toolpaths. Nesting users saw enhancements as well with a global value of part quantity control, multi-edit capability, the ability to apply individual overrides, grain and orientation, as well as multiple envelopes along with filler part settings to maximize material utilization. These were our top five picks from the numerous new features introduced last year, and we look forward to providing you with even more functionality in 2025. Please let us know in the comments which top five features from 2024 you found most exciting and that significantly enhanced your productivity to make anything.